Hey guys. Okay. Kind of an impromptu last minute live. One of those days, you know, you ever have those days where you're kind of having a rough, a rough time, like mentally and emotionally, and you feel like you just need to feel more put together. Well, this is one of those days where I just feel like I need to feel a little more put together. So, um, I showered, my hair's still damp and I'm going to put on some makeup and I thought I might as well do it live. Right? So I'll see if anyone is able to pop on is not busy to have people coming over later to look at some chickens i forgot to grab a hair club so this will be fun they're just gonna be down and dry um grab some chickens and then i might run into town this evening and i just as i said one of those emotionally difficult difficult weeks and i just needed just need to feel put together so if you pop on i'd love you to say hello let me know that you're watching if you watch this after I'm done, let me know that you watched it on the replay. I'm Jennifer Sunquist. I go by J. I know that's hard for some people to say because I spell it J-E-I, but it's J. And I am a beauty influencer with pharmacy. So I'm going to put on some of this awesome primer. I really love this primer. This is the VFX Strobe Primer. We have another primer that is also really excellent that I use sometimes. This one, this is a silicone primer and this one is a water-based primer and it is moisturizing and I have quite the dry skin, so. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it's so pretty. It just kind of adds like a glow to your face. I'm gonna get a little more, I didn't get quite enough. But it's like, it's moisturizing and it's just, it's just, it's nice. It adds like a nice layer. And if you normally do not do um, primer with your foundation, I didn't used to for years, but it really does help it go on so much better and it helps it to stay on longer. And um, so I really encourage you to try out primer because it's awesome. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. I don't know if you can see, like that it just kind of adds a little bit of like a glow with a dewy finish because who doesn't need that right now in the winter so i've got my primer on i know you're supposed to do your eyes first but i never do my eyes first <laughs> i'm a rebel so this is pharmacy's um little pot of eye primer eye eye shadow primer eyelid primer um it's just this little cream based pot it does have pigment to it so that's nice because it kind of covers up if you have like veining and stuff on your eyelids that you don't really like. It'll cover it up. This is tricky to do on my phone. Um, I've never actually done my makeup on a lid before. So we'll just, you know, see how this goes. Bear with me. There we go. Just put it all over the lid. I've heard some people really like to use this as a lip primer also. Or they'll even use it as like a concealer. I have not tried doing that yet. I just have used it as a... Uh, an eyelid primer and it is a really good one because I'm a naughty person and I sleep in my makeup all the time <laughs> and it keeps everything in place all right so we've done our primers we've done our face primer our strobe primer we've done our eye primer so we've got those done give that just a second and I'm going to do kind of my favorite combo so the pharmacies CC cream. This is their light 01. It might be the lightest one. It's a smidge too light for me, but that's okay. So the CC cream is amazing. I used it as my foundation for months because it like covers up all the things. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> this lighting might be, might be fitting to you a little bit. I am very red, lots of um, texture and hyperpigmentation and temperature changes, like just walking outside will make stuff happen. It's calmed down a lot. I've been using the Calendula, Pharmacy's Calendula line, and that has done wonders for my skin. Like usually after I wash my face, my skin's like, Whoa! and it's not anymore. It's nice and calm. So that's been good. But so I really like this because it covers up all the things. And I love the VFX um, Pro Camera Ready. We do, I think we all just call it VFX. Um, their foundation, it is awesome. Like, I have not worn actual foundation for years because I got so fed up with them. I hated all of them. I could not find one that worked with my face. I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like how it felt. I went through dozens of different foundations, and I just really didn't like any of them. 
So I tried this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a sample of it and I tried it and I loved it. So I am using 04, which is their cool tone light shade. I could probably get away with 00, which is like the lightest light shade, but um, this one works. So I've got a damp sponge. I need to wash it. Um, and I'm just going to put some on there. Hopefully not too, too much. Sometimes I don't do my sometimes do too much. So I just got these little dots here and then I'm going to add my CC cream to it. Just going to plop some on there. I like to do more of the foundation than the CC cream um, because I feel like my color comes out better, but we'll just see how where this gets us. We'll just see. All right. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Just that. And this is the fun part where you get to look really weird. Hmm? Clown makeup, anyone? All right, so I'm gonna put that on. And then we are gonna just start, let me see if I can track down a mirror really quickly. There we go. All right, we're just gonna blend. Blendy, blendy. And it really does cover <clears throat> like all the things. But it doesn't look cakey, which is always my issue with the full coverage foundation. Like I have discoloration and uneven skin and all those things, but I don't like full coverage foundations because I feel like they always look really cakey. But this one tends to behave itself and it doesn't look cakey. And it is buildable. Like you can go back in and add more later if you feel like you need more. But generally that's enough. I'm not going to worry too much about under my eyes. I'm going to get them a little bit, but um, I'm going to come back in with a little bit of concealer. I did not actually ever use concealer until this spring. This is when I got my very first concealer ever. <laughs> I'd never, ever used it before. And um, now, actually, I do use it, and I like it. Okay, lots of blending. I think that's one of the keys to having... Um, better looking foundation as to blendy 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 and then blend a little bit more and I really like a damp sponge this is um, I got it from pharmacy this spring but they now have a different designed sponge and I have one on order I'm really excited to try it because I also always used to use my fingers I'd never used like a sponge like this except for like the old style sponges you guys remember the old style like the little the wedges <clears throat> Yeah, they did not work awesome. That's why I started using my fingers. Okay. Maybe I should have done like half my face and you might guys see the difference. But, um, I mean, wow, look at that. It is light. It does not feel masky. It doesn't even look masky. Like, it covers, but, like, you can still see I have a face. I've got some little things around there. You can still see that those are there but they're not like super crazy. And I know that girls that have um, acne or things they want to cover up, they'll go in with another another layer. Um, <clears throat> but my goal is not to cover all the things. I just want to feel more put together. So we're just going to go around, make sure I've got everything while I was chatting. I also like to get my ears just a tiny bit with what's left on the sponge. I know that sounds really weird to do your ears. However, if you've got your face all done and then you go in, and you're doing stuff and your ears get all red Ooh. so this does not like completely stop that and there's not like a ton on there it just helps to keep them kind of toned down a little bit maybe i'm the only one that has issues with red ears i don't know <laughs> okay there we go so it just has a really nice finish i have foundation lips <laughs> foundation lips all right but it has a really nice finish and just keep blending it in. I probably over blend, but I just really like to make sure I got it all blendy blended. All right. So that's a pretty, pretty decent match. My neck is always like crazy, super pale, but that's okay. That's pretty normal for me. All right. So foundation, we got our foundation done. Um, so I'm going to pop those back away so I don't pick them up and distract myself because I do that. Okay, so we got those done. Now we're gonna do. <laughs> now we're gonna do the 
concealer, which I'm using just pharmacy's concealer in the lightest color. They do have concealer sticks. I've never tried them. I like, um, I just like dealing with the liquid. So we are gonna see what we can do here with this. Put some on, and I am not a concealer expert. <laughs> As I said, I just started wearing it this spring. Um, I don't know, people do that. People put it on their chins and stuff because it's like face contouring and like lighting certain areas and like all the all the things. Cause so see my problem is I'm not red under my eyes, but I'm really red here. And so if I like put it just right under my eyes and don't bring it down some, then I have this really fun um this really fun like line. I don't want to do that. So I don't like to let this sit too long. I feel like if you do, it doesn't blend in as nicely. So we're just gonna go in there. And blendy blendy. Sometimes I use my finger just on the corner there. And the goal here is just to brighten the under eye area a little bit. Um, I never really used to worry about dark circles under my eyes. It just didn't, just didn't really hit my radar. And then just the past, I don't know, like this past year, maybe, maybe last year a little bit too, I've started to notice that my under eye area has gotten a little darker. Um, probably from, you know, all those years of lack of sleep. <laughs> so this is not something that you have to do. I feel like the foundation does cover pretty decently, but if you want to brighten your under eye area, and just kind of improve it a little bit. As long as you're putting on makeup, you might as well, right? Then this works pretty well. It's hard to talk and do the makeup at the same time. And this eye, this eye is my fun eye, this one. This one, the under eye area. Um, it just never wants to do for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. I think we are. I always have to fiddle with this side. I just don't like me. Okay. I'm going to let it do its thing now. I'm going to stop harassing it. Okay. So there's that. All right, what do we do next? What do we do next? Just let all that set for a minute. Um, before we do any like a powder on it, we're gonna go ahead and do probably a little bit of contouring. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do that now or wait a minute. Okay, eyes. For the eyes, I'm gonna do Pharmacy's little um, Vintage Season Trio. It's my favorite, I use it all the flipping time. It's awesome. I really like it. I'm very excited for the new palettes though. I have some on order and I am not so patiently waiting for them because <laughs> I really, I really want them to show up. Um, I'm just using this cool little doohickey. You can get them on like Amazon and eBay and stuff. These color cleaners, they're awesome. It's this little rough sponge in here and you can just like wipe off your brush and it helps to knock off any extra color so that um, you can use it in between different different, different, uh, colors. So that's awesome. So I think I don't get too much. Got a little bit of blender from on my eyebrows. My lack of eyebrows. I'm going to clean it off a little bit. Okay. So I think, um, what we're going to do is we are going to put a little bit of that lightest color on just get a light little base on here real quick while we're waiting to do our contouring, which also new to. I watched a lot of people do contouring and I was like, wow, there's a lot of variation in how people contour their eyes. <laughs> or eyes, not eyes, contour their faces, like a lot of variation. I was kind of shocked actually how much variation but you know everybody does things in their own way so here we go we're gonna try to contour 
Live, that's not nerve wracking at all. This is my contour. No. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> the contour says contour on the bottom. I should remember that. All right, so contour stick. It's cream stick. I like creams because I have dry skin. So it works really well for me. This is going to look crazy for a minute. Like, legit crazy. And if you think this is scary, you should see some of the videos I've seen. They were terrifying. Oh my goodness. One girl literally, like, colored in her forehead. And I was like, how do you, how do you do that? Okay, I gotta find my cheekbones. They're right here. My cheekbones are not the same, which is kind of aggravating. See, we're getting them kind of the same. So my cheekbones are not the same like you can feel them and they they're just they're not the same and one side behaves really nicely and the other side like hates me so you know there's always that fun stuff so we're gonna blend that with our sponge it actually blends pretty dang well considering it looks like i just drew on my face with a crayon so i have a really high forehead it's like a full four fingers and <clears throat> so I just feel like we need a little something up here to to kind of like bring it in just <laughs> Bring it in a little bit. Just pretend that it's not like this massive forehead So we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna bring it in a little bit Because it is a big forehead See it just blends so easily it doesn't mess up my other makeup it just blends right in as I said I could do more other people do more but I don't know let me warm up to it, you know? So I'm gonna blendy blendy on the nose. There we go. I don't like do crazy heavy contour stuff with my nose. I don't feel like I need to. Um, we're just gonna add a little bit of depth and shadow. So I try to blend kind of upward on my cheek contour a little bit. I don't do a crazy heavy contour on my cheek because I do bronzer later and that also helps to contour and so I don't feel like I need it, but see, it just blends. It just gives you kind of this bit of a shadow and that is important because you just took like all your whole face with this foundation and you just like made it this big, big canvas to be able to add your shadows and colors and stuff back into and so that's why we use things like contour and blush and bronzer and all those things because we're adding back in all that all that definition and color we're just carefully placing it where we want it okay i think i think we're about good but you see how it just kind of added a little bit of shadowy there Pretending that my forehead's not huge <laughs> and I have more cheekbones than I probably have. One of these days we're going to do a crazy clam look and we're going to do like heavy contouring and have a really good time playing with that. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay, so we did our contour. As I said, I don't do a ton. I just do a little bit just to kind of add a little bit back in. Hair is driving me nuts. Okay, what do we want to do now? Now? I don't know. I don't know. What are we going to do now? We are done with our contour, so I should put that away so I don't confuse myself. This contour and the highlight look the same. I love this packaging, by the way. Absolutely love it. But um, I've heard there might be getting new packaging, so we'll see. Okay. I think I'm going to wait on the... highlight and stuff we're gonna start working on the eyes which is like really nerve-wracking because you know eyeliner on a live video sounds terrifying so we're gonna try this we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it okay i have it's an ink liner it's like a liner pen this stuff is awesome it's not waterproof but it lasts a very long time i've worn it for more than 48 hours before um glides on really really well and I just got it all over my hand because I'm awesome. <laughs> it's one of those days. I've been saying, it's okay, it's 2020, like all last week and this week so far. Because that's, that's how it feels. Like we couldn't find our green 
wired lights for our tree. So we have like outdoor white wire lights on our tree. And we put it on and I'm like, it's okay, it's 2020, it's fine. Like it's it's legitly, it's fine. We realized later that I had them wrapped around a ladder that I have leaning against the wall. That's where they were. <laughs> but but so we're like, it's fine, it's 2020, let's not like white lights, who cares? It's our tree. And just like thing after thing. I'm like, it's okay, it's it's fine, it's 2020. It's okay, it'll be fine, it's 2020. Like I've just been saying that nonstop. It's terrible. Alright, so we're gonna try to do our eyeliner. Try. Try not to make a mess. Terrible. Right. Can't see him under there. Can you? Okay, we got it on my eye. So it's kind of tricky to put eyeliner on my eyes because not only are they kind of like hooded and they pull down at the corner, I also have lots of skin on my eyes, so it like it doesn't want to behave. So it's nerve wracking. We haven't even done a little wingy yet. We're just gonna like get it on the lid first. But this stuff is awesome. This is the best um like felt to be ink liner I've ever used. So, They're pretty even. I think I think we're pretty even. Maybe. <laughs> Whoo! I'm a little stressed out now. Okay, I think we're pretty even. We haven't done wings or anything yet. That's the really terrifying part. Like, isn't that the worst part of trying to? We can do little teeny, little teeny wings, right? Little teeny wings. Because sometimes I say that and then I end up doing like a massive wing because, you know, I screwed up. It's like, we're going to try. Okay. I've heard the key to this is because like you shouldn't like, like, because when you have hooded eyes, you should look directly at your mirror when you're doing it pretty much so that you can like actually see what you're doing and you're not like doing this and then you open your eye and it's all screwy. But yeah. So I've been practicing. It's really hard actually. Old habits. Okay, we got a little wing, look at that. Little wing, tiny, tiny, little 
Please help me match the other side. Okay. I cannot be the only person that has to like fiddle like crazy with her eyeliner. Probably not the only person, right? Of course, you know, you, you watch on like Instagram and stuff and they're like, Whoosh! and you're like, how did you do that? Okay. Hmm. Not the same at all. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. All four of my kids home and inside the house right now because we homeschool and they're always home. I can hear whispering. <laughs> We just got mail out here, a truck, and the guinea fowl out back are chirping away. Oh my goodness, they just don't want to behave. Okay. You know what? I think I'm calling it for right now. I'm just gonna just gonna go with it. And if it bugs me too bad later, I'll like attack it and try to change it again, but honestly it's pretty close. And I'm taking a crazy long time doing this. We're just gonna roll with it. All right. Okay, that's kind of done. Kind of, we're just gonna let that lie for just a minute for just a minute. Oh, the chickens out running in the yard. Just a couple of them are out, they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be in their pen today. But not so naturally, they're like out running around the yard. Okay, so. Move that out of the way. What should we do with our eyes now that we kind of have our eyeliner that is totally not behaving? We're going to just do something that I, I think is fairly basic that I usually do. So I'm going to take that middle color. It's kind of a warm brown. And I'm going to try not to mess this up. I'm just going to put it on our eye. Because remember, we have hooded eyes and they are tricky little things. 
we have to pretend that our crease is like way up there because <laughs> if we actually put stuff in our crease it just does not show up so it's just you know the curse of having a hooded eye which is fine there's ways to do every single type of eye and it works out fine it's just it's hard because like you'll see a look on someone else and be like oh my gosh i want to do that well if you don't have kind of the same eye type as them it's not gonna it's not gonna look the same at all and so that can be frustrating and a little disheartening but it's okay you know you just have to learn how to do your type of eye and then you're good okay just gonna do a little bit of the darker stuff just kind of at the corner a little bit kind of got some more depth there maybe than we do just gonna quickly put it on okay there we go there's some of that and i really like I really like to add some of this really pretty, it's like a, it's like a cranberry color. I like to add a little bit of that, this kind of creasy cornery area, and it just kind of like, I don't know, pinks it up, warms it up a little bit. I actually really love this eyeshadow trio. Like, I'm really, really excited for the new palettes. They have so many colors, and they're so pretty, but, um... I think I'll still use this palette or this trio a ton because I just, it's just one that I really enjoy using. All right, there we go. So that was the Vintage Season Eyeshadow Palette. I might fiddle with it a little bit later. I know it looks weird because I don't have brows. I will. I will in a minute. All right. So we're going to do brows. Okay, right now I am using a little e.l.f. pencil. It's just working really well for me right now. We're just going to go in. So I have very, very sparse brows. Um, and the ones that I do have are light. Very, very light. So it's just, you know, they're just kind of complicated. <laughs> so we just kind of have to fiddle with them a little bit. And that's okay. It's okay to fiddle with them a little bit. I bought Pharmacy's brow pomade and I haven't tried it yet it's not even in my makeup bag it is in my bathroom in my drawer I think I think because I just haven't tried it okay so I'm gonna get the color on there and brush through a little bit and then see if it's about to have an eyebrow <laughs> So we're going to do this side, and then I'll see if I need to do some evening out because they're not the same shape. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Mine might be distant cousins sometimes, depending on how they behave. So we're just going to keep putting that on. Sorry, I don't mean to block you. I really don't. I need to get a different mirror, I think. Right? So I can do this a little easier. Oh, this is working pretty well. So we're just going to keep that on before we brush it out. I don't ever do like the crazy big Instagram eyebrows. You've all seen them like the big like. Yeah, I don't ever do those. I'm just. I don't even know if I could. <laughs> with my brows. Although I've seen some people do them that have less brows than me. I didn't know that was possible. And uh, they do it pretty well. I don't know how it looks like in real life, like up close, but okay. So I, we're not even going to pretend that they're going to like match. We're just going to kind of try to fluff up this side a little because this side over here is a little bit floofier just all on its own. We're just going to try to even them out a smidrewski. Oh, my eyes. I'm just staring and staring and staring. Whew. Okay. So we're just going to comb through them a little bit. Comb through them a little bit. Try not, not too bad. Not too bad. And I thought we would try 
our um what's it called guys what's it called our pharmacy brown mascara that's what it's called our pharmacy brown mascara i thought that would be nice to try i haven't tried it with this pencil yet and so i thought we would if i can open it one handed there we go all right so it's just a little teeny teeny wand with the brown mascara and we'll just see what it does glob on it that I got on here. I'm trying to fix the little glob. Whatever I can't easily fix, I will just have to get some uh, zero of the... Okay, can you see? I don't know if you can see the difference. It just kind of added a little bit more floof and color. I think if you already had naturally um, fuller brows, this would be awesome to just like pop on real quick and it would make it would make the process quicker and easier doing your brows because it's got some color and it's just like coating, kind of like mascara, just like a light coat of mascara on your brows, but not mascara because that would be weird. Um, I think it would work really well for that. Okay. Hmm? I'm gonna call it done, I think. So hard to tell. It's so hard to tell in this mirror. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. So I'm gonna just tidy this one up a tiny bit. My brows have actually been going pretty quick, and they're just being difficult today, I think, because. Um, I'm normally really careful not to get foundation or anything on them, and I did today, and I tried to wipe most of it off, but I don't think I got all of it, so they're going to be in a butt. There we go. Okay, eyebrows. Sisters, not twins. Sisters, not twins. We're just going to chant that like I do every time I do them. Okay, we've got those done, and I'm going to come in with my concealer. And I'm going to put a little concealer right under my brow bone here. I found that this works pretty dang well. I can find my little brushy thingy. I may just end up using my finger. So I have some such light skin that sometimes even the like the lighter colors like the lighter one in here that's still too dark to put under my brow bone because it won't it won't really lighten anything it'll add some shimmer but it's not gonna lighten it at all it's fairly even that's nice Okay, we did that part. What next? Alright, kind of stalling on doing my mascara. It's always nerve wracking. I'm gonna just move a couple things and get this ready. So, Before that, I think we're going to go ahead and set it. We're going to do, where's my big fluffy brush? So I have this big, soft, fluffy brush, and this is the Be Fit CC powder. It's got all those pretty colors. It also helps to um, help with, like, when your pigment's being, being difficult. So, and it kind of, like, brightens. So I like to use it to set 
Brittany Dings. See how it's just kind of adding this brightening shimmer. And for a long time, I could not set with powders because they would just dry my face out. But I can now because of the spray that I'm going to use after that I will show you. It's really cool. It's really cool. Okay. There we go. All right. So that powder just kind of, see, it just adds some shine, um, a little bit of glow, sets things, hides hides reds and things so got that on I'm gonna pop that back in all right so we have that on and we are going to be super brave we're gonna be super duper brave and do our mascara let's just stick on this mascara let's be honest some people can just like go and throw on their mascara I am not one of those people I have they're not really, really, really short eyelashes. They're not crazy long though. And the biggest issue that I have with them is they're just, they're a little bit sparse too. And so when I'm putting stuff on, if I'm not really careful, you know how they just go wonky and you get mad? Yeah. It's kind of how mine go. I have to be careful how I'm curling. I want them to stay curled. So. I don't even know where I got this curler. I've had this curler for a really long time. When I was younger, actually, my mom didn't really use her, so I actually, like, stole my mom's curler one time. I kind of just kept it with my stuff. And then eventually, eventually it just kind of died, and I had to get a new one. So thanks for the curler, Mom. <laughs> All right, we're going to curl, and I'm going to use our new, our, well, not our newest mascara. Our newest mascara is a vegan mascara. Um, and I didn't, I didn't order it, but I've thought about it to see how it works and I'm assuming I haven't actually looked I meant to look I'm assuming that it is vegan because they don't use beeswax in it um and I think in the other mascaras they probably use some beeswax so it's probably why it's probably why it's a vegan one come on now behave yourself got stuff to do can't be curling you all day all right other side have you guys seen the um the eyelash curlers that you like turn on and they're like a comb but they're hot and you like comb it through to like curl your yeah I thought about it I thought oh that'd be so quick and easy I saw someone using one um and then I was like oh my gosh I would burn my eye <laughs> like I would seriously like burn my whole eye off so I didn't get one I also know some people use their blow dryer to heat up their lash curler before they and I before they use it and I'm pretty sure I would um I would burn my eye then too. So I don't do that. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear like all the trucks going on. I think it's one of our neighbors is um they're doing something like having like a garage extension or something. So there's been like trucks and workers and all kinds of stuff. I'm sure they had a good time yesterday. My uh, my six year old was on the porch. He wanted to listen to Christmas music and I had a headache, like a migraine. And I was like, I don't want to hear it loud. And so I sent him outside to the porch. And so he was out on the porch with his Christmas music. I think he was listening to Michael Bublé. Or Michael Bublé, Bublé Christmas album. He's out there listening to that dancing. I'm like, oh my goodness. Hopefully anybody that drove by got some Christmas cheer and thought it was fun. I'm hoping. All right, so we're going to comb them out a little bit. So the mascara I'm using is a two-part mascara. And it has a length and a volume. We'll do the length first. I've tried doing it the other way and it works better if I do the length first. So we're gonna do the length first and try not to poke our eye, try not to get all over our face. And we're gonna try, try to make our lashes behave themselves. So here it is. You just open the top one. It says length right on it. I love this mascara. This is our double lash extend. 
mascara and it's awesome. My other favorite is the 3D FX mascara. I use both of these um, interchangeably, but um, right now this is my current favorite. So I'm just going to try to get it on. You don't want to leave it crazy long between when you do this and when you put on the volume or it just kind of, I don't know, it, it just, it just doesn't do what it should. So I'm going to get this on, help the eyelashes behave themselves, just clean out. Okay, try not to over on the end here. I just love it when you have the days where you're like you put on your makeup and it just does exactly what you want and you look exactly how you want it and your eyelashes behave themselves super duper well and you're like oh it's a good day and then you go to do it the next time and you're like what is wrong with my face because it just doesn't work okay okay I think I think I've done what I can do here what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to quickly come through a little bit. You just, over the years, like, you just learn kind of how, how your eyelashes behave, how your eyebrows behave, how your skin behaves, and you just kind of know when you need to fiddle with it, when it's okay. It's just one of those things that it's just frustrating sometimes. I have eyelashes. All right, so that was the, um, here, let's see if I can turn this light up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so that was just the lengthening. Now we're gonna do the volume real quick. So you close the top and then you just open the pink part and it's a completely different brush. So now we're gonna do this one and this one and just kind of fluffies and plumpies and all the things just to kind of make your lashes look fuller which I think most people are like woohoo I need that okay there we go I'll quickly take my comb to it look at that oh my goodness oh my god eyelashes it's a Christmas miracle. That's what this is. So if I can just get them to behave themselves and separate out a little bit, that'd be awesome. Because they're fighting on this. They're fighting this. They're like fussy, fussy little, little lashes that just want to stick together. A little bit too much, right? I hear little feet. Okay, I don't want to fiddle too much. What do you think? I think I slept kind of funny last night because I woke up and one of my eyelashes, I was, lo I was looking in the mirror, I'm like, why is it bent? Why is it bent? I was hoping the shower would kind of straighten it out. After a while, you just have to reach a happy place and not fuss with it anymore. So you can see, it is really amazing mascara. I love it. It's my favorite. All right, we're going to do the other side. And my eyelashes are not even remotely the same on either side. So, so we're going to see how this goes. There. You can't see, can you? I keep blocking you guys. It is unintentional. I will get better at this. I will get better at this as we go along. It's also a pretty helpful thing my practice makes. Perfect. What are you doing? Child. I can hear you. <laughs> We're supposed to be down the hall. I'm quiet. I may have been quiet. It just sounds like they're getting into something. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's put that away. And we're gonna comb them, because we all know we need to. Because we don't all need to. I see some people and they just like put it, put it on so fast and it just does its thing. And I'm like, what? Mine doesn't do that ever. But it's just my lashes. It's just the way that my lashes are. I'm a little more, I gotta be a little bit more persnickety about it. But it's okay, we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, now we're gonna open the pink parts for our volume. And see what that does. I guess that is not giving itself at all. It's gonna require some combing. Do some combing. I think that's the side that I slept on. Because they're not behaving even after a shower. I thought it would kind of reset them, but it's not. So, so how are you guys doing on your holiday prep? If you celebrate Christmas, how are your Christmas present shopping stuff coming? Because ours is almost done, almost completely, and it would have been done, um, but some of our packages just never showed, and then the sellers didn't have some of the stuff anymore. So they just refunded, they didn't replace it, so I had to go hunt stuff down. Excuse me. My eyelashes are being beasts. But, so we had to um, reorder some things. My kids are getting older and my oldest is 13 and so it's it's so hard because um you know you can't just go get him you know toys anymore i mean he, he's gotten the bigger toys bigger more expensive toys um which isn't bad it's just it's different it's just so different i was looking at the baby and toddler toys from Walmart and I was like how is it that all of a sudden like we are not buying any of these things like none of our kids are in this stage anymore all right I brought up the tweezers of course it's doing this one trying to do a live right because it's 2020 and I'm pretty sure we do it even if it wasn't 2020 but these lashes are just like if you cannot separate us we must stay together I'm gonna make you but so it's just getting harder to shop for them because they are getting older and more opinionated and they don't do like wish lists we never have for our kids really um like if we're not sure we'll ask them kind of hey is there something you've been thinking you'd like to have but we don't do wish lists um I just I feel like I don't know. I have a weird opinion about it, I guess. We did wish lists when I was kids. In fact, one year I had an itemized wish list. I'm not even kidding. I had like a page with like, this page covers this category and this page covers this. And my mom always did like a ton of presents for us. Christmases were really big um, at my house growing up because my mom didn't have big Christmases when she was a kid. And so it was really fun for her to like buy us all those presents and have a big Christmas. Um... But that's not what we do. Just fine. Like everybody kind of does their own thing. Just doesn't want to do it, guys. Just doesn't want to behave. I just need to separate that one lash. And it is just being a turd. Ugh. Okay. I have some ridiculous amount of time on this. I'm going to leave it alone. We're going to finish our makeup. And then I'm going to try to separate it later because it's being a beast. Um, anyway, so it's gotten a little harder to shop for some of my kids just because, well, we try to not just get them like filler gifts, like 
oh, that's kind of cute. They'll like it, but they'll only play with it for like a day. Like we try not to do that. We try to do more um, open-ended or something that we know or have a pretty good guess, hunch, whatever uh, that they'll actually play with or use more. And um, I know everybody's like, getting kids clothes for Christmas is so mean. My kids like getting clothes. <laughs> like, they think it's fun. So um, we do sometimes get them clothes for Christmas. I don't think we did much of that this year, though. Um, but we just, we try not to do too many, like, little filler gifts that we know that won't have a lot of lasting power and will end up either breaking or ending up like in a donate pile, um, just seems like a waste of money just so they have something to open on Christmas morning. I know maybe that seems silly, but that's just kind of my opinion on the matter. So that's what we do. All right, see, look at that. We have eyelashes. I only got a little tiny bit right there. The eyelash is still driving me bonkers, but it's not terrible. So, lashes. Okay. My hands are now covered in mascara from this one. I thought we were going to get a little bit of this. This is awesome, by the way. This is Pharmacy's Bi-Phased Makeup Remover. I love it. I have used, it's like a Rimmel makeup remover since I was a teenager. Like, I just, I always use that one. And this one has practically no smell at all. I just really like it. And it takes stuff off so quick and easy. So I have it, like, literally all over my hands. <laughs> But it's awesome. I really like it. I finished out my other one and I've been using this and loving it. Alright, so I did that little water. I have no idea how long it's been. None, none at all. None at all. We still have a little bit of foundation left, don't we? Looks kind of cool now. A little bit. I'm not going to do anything too drastic with them today, though. Alright. We're getting there. We are going to move on to bronzer. And I love this brush. I've had this brush for years. It's a powder brush. I have no idea where I got it. I think maybe Sephora is, but I really don't know. Oops. Oh my gosh, this is Bow, Bow something Paris. I really don't know where I got it. Maybe it's Target. I don't know. I guess this is the same company. I must have got a makeup set at some point, but it's my favorite. I love it. It just, um, I don't know, shift in my chair. Sorry, I need to hold the mirror. I apologize. Um, but I love it. It's my favorite brush for putting on bronzer. I've tried other brushes, and I just really like this one. I guess I've just become familiar with how to use it. It's not, like, the softest thing. Like, this brush is silky soft. This brush is not. It's almost, it's almost scratchy a tiny bit. <laughs> but... I've used it for so many years. I just, it just, I, I don't know. We're like old friends. I know how to use it. So that's what I usually use when I do my um, bronzer. I like got myself. Do you guys see that? Right there. There we go. Oop. <laughs> Oops. So, as I said, I don't have much of a forehead, or <laughs> I have a lot of a forehead, so I like to try to pretend I don't have as much of one. Warm up my face a little bit, because I do not wear blush ever with the red in my face. If I put blush on, I don't care how good I have worked to not show any of that red or very little of that red, that red comes popping right back. So I do not do blush ever. So we're just gonna warm that up a little bit. All right, double check it. Well, it looks okay in my mirror. I've noticed that sometimes when I look at my makeup in my mirror and then I see it on my phone, it <laughs> it looks quite different. But in my mirror, it looks fine. So, oh, it's in the way. Oh, 
Okay, my phone's good too. Okay, there we go. We warmed up our face, gave it some more definition. That's nicer. And let's see what else. What have we forgotten to do? Oh, highlights. Okay, I just started using highlight. We have this really gorgeous highlight stick. This is kind of our gold one. We have a, what color? It's like a pinky, like a light pinky color, like a rose color, I think is what they call it. Um, so they have that one too, but I really like this one and I like to take my little concealer brush and get some on here. And I like to put my highlights under my brow bone. And um, I have to be careful with shimmers under my brow bone because just my skin um, seems to just make like all the imperfections show up. But for some reason, this highlight does not behave that way and I can use it just fine. So that's what we're gonna use. Just add a little bit of sparkle and definition with our highlight. I'm sure I'm not the only person that puts highlight on her eyes. Okay, so we've done a little highlight. Put a little dot right just, just barely there. We're gonna put some just in our inner corner. Because why not? Why not put it in our inner corner? Just for kicks, right? Just to give us a little bit more shine. Because it's the holidays, we should all be shiny. <laughs> I may or may not have gone a little nuts with the glitter liner the other day. I didn't take a picture, but yeah. We went to a uh, semi-local like discount bulk grocery store and I had just some of my kind of like natural, hardly there makeup. And then I'm like, ah, heck, so I put on some, some glitter liner just because why not? I think I think I have highlighted my eyes to death <laughs> okay so we're gonna just like tap in a little bit of highlight here with this brush I don't do a ton of highlight on my cheeks I just don't doesn't seem to like me when I do so we're just gonna kind of pat a little bit in here mmm that's pretty okay that's not too much good Oop. I'm gonna pat a little bit in here All that does is just like when you're when you're in lighting different lighting sunshine especially um it just kind of gives it a little bit of glow there just like a fun healthy glow we're gonna put a tiny bit right up here some people like to put it down on like the tip of their nose um but i don't necessarily want the very tip of my nose looking all shiny <laughs> um i think i just kind of elongate it and that's i don't want that tiny bit right here just kind of where you want the light to hit it. And just add a little there. And add a little there. And here, turn it right here. Why? I don't know. Other people do it. So we can try it. Because why not? Because we can. We can try it. We can try it if we want to. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna just be we're gonna be done playing with the highlighter. It is really easy to get carried away because it is really fun to add sparkle to your face. Okay, what do I have left? I have not been cleaning up after myself. I think we did just about everything, didn't it? Oh, I didn't do that. We need to do our lips. Okay, so this is just kind of like a basic, let's see, do we wanna change anything with our eyeshadow? I'm pretty happy with it. This is pretty much like if I'm just gonna put on some makeup and it's not like my natural barely there makeup, this is basically the same look that I do all the time. I use this eyeshadow palette I put it on this way that's just it's just how I have been doing it and I like it I need a little bit more brown over here though all right there we go just gonna blend it a little and not let that roll off the table because that would be annoying I need a little more over here and then how it goes. Okay. I think we've about got it done. All right. There we go. We're going to stop fiddling. So there's eyes, lips. What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't want to go too. 
I don't want to go too crazy bright or anything. We could do a little lip liner. Can do a nude lip. We could try that here. We're gonna here. We'll try. We'll try this. So I have a nude lip liner. This is a NYX lip pencil. I don't know what color it is. Peekaboo neutral. Because I do not have a neutral pharmacy liner. Because I have this one, so I'm like, well, when I run out of this one, I'll get a pharmacy one. So we're just gonna kind of line a little bit. Nothing crazy. Just to kind of. Just a little. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, and I have a NYX. This is a soft matte lip cream in Stockholm. These smell so good. <sighs> okay, they just smell lightly sweet. I don't know. I don't know why I like them so much. I have issues with certain scents, but for some reason. I don't know, is this too peachy? I don't know, it might be too peachy today. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. It's just so soft. Okay, where's my mirror? That's not bad, is it? It's not like too, too peachy, right? I don't know. Let's look. Let's look. What else do we have? Can we add something? Oh, this is fun. Okay, so well, I'm doing a neutral look, so I'm not going to do it, but I have, I bought a Milani Stellar Lights. Um, it's like a holographic uh, <laughs> lip gloss almost, but I, and I don't wear it by itself. I'll put on like a dark lip and do just a little bit just to give kind of a pop, and it's really fun. So I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, I have have too many lip products. That is not a thing. There's no such thing as too many lip products. I just happen to have a fair amount of lip products. Where is it? I cannot find what I'm looking for. I must have it in my purse. Okay, well, I can't do that then. All right, so we're going to do that. What are we going to do instead? What should we do instead? We can, do we want to do a little bit of an ombre? Where did I put my... I'll find it. I will find it. It is here. Just gotta remember which pocket I dumped it in. I need to get a bigger makeup case. Like, legit, though, I need a bigger makeup case. Nope, that's not it. Where's the little tube? Where is it? I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. I didn't put it away, that's why I couldn't find it. Okay, we're gonna try to do just a tiny bit of an ombre and see if we like that. We'll just see. I don't think that improved it. Like it's it's pretty, but I don't think it's what I wanted today. It's hard when you can't get what you're wanting, the look you're wanting. Like it's pretty. I just don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. As I said, just kind of hard emotional stuff. This week. Hard emotional stuff, hard choices, hard decisions, and I just, I don't know, guys. It's hard. I think that'd be, that'd be a bit much, maybe. That'd be maybe a bit much. <laughs> um, I need to find, ooh, that'd be a good one to find. What are you? I don't know if I could do hot Tahiti today. I know we do orange peach also. So I'm pulling out all my little pharmacy lip. Um, when you sign up, you get these adorable little sample lipsticks. Matte beige. Do you want to do like a matte beige? I don't know. I'm so indecisive. I like cannot figure out what color lipstick to wear. Like that's ridiculous that I am so indecisive today that I can't figure out what color lipstick to wear. But honestly, with, 
with all the other kind of big decisions I'm having to make this week, I feel like, I feel like that's okay. I feel like it's okay for me to be having a hard time deciding what lip color to wear. I am juggling this. I'm so sorry. Where are you? Stop on. That's what I just had on. Where's the other one? <laughs> okay. We're just going to make a big mess. We're just going to make a big mess and it's fine. It's fine. Nothing is going the way that I want it to go today, so it's fine if nothing goes. All right, what are you? Ooh, I found my other one. Okay, so this is a NYX Butter Gloss. They also smell good, and this one is Tiramisu. It's more pink. So, what are these? Seriously, they're just, like, lightly sweet. Okay, we're going to try Tiramisu and see if we like better. This morning, one of my favorite chickens is gone. She likely got eaten by a predator. We have some that are really gutsy and we'll show up during the day, and it makes me mad because they free rain during the day. But there's, you know, there's only so much we can do. We have livestock guardian dogs, etc. What do you think? Is that better? A little bit more pinky. Still kind of neutral. I think I like that better. Let's see. Let's see how the day goes. So I think I like that better. I think we have everything done. I still need to figure out what the heck is I'm doing with my hair. I thought about like putting waves in it. I could just leave it. I could put it up. Oh, I might put it up. I don't know. And you see my roots, guys? Oh my goodness. So this is my natural color, this blonde, but I've had it this like redder than this though but you know red red um i dyed it with henna almost a year ago um and then i did do a couple touch-ups so this isn't like a full years of growth but i was trying to grow it out because i thought i'll just let it grow out because henna never really comes out like it fades some but it like it doesn't go away so i was thinking i'll just let it grow out and then i will maybe like chop it off do like a like a bob or something when it gets longer and I'm kind of liking it having it longer right now because I've had it shorter for years. And so I'm thinking about growing it out and having it longer. And then the idea of having like long red hair really appeals to me. <laughs> so so I may just dye it again and continue to grow it out and just see. And just see until it dries me nuts. So, okay, this is the magic part. This is the magic part right here. This is our Pharmacy Be Fit Refreshing and Fixing Face Spray. This is worth its weight in gold. I love this stuff. Okay, so like I have dry skin. I can't typically do powders. Um, it'll just dry it out. It won't look good. I'll look bad, dry, powdery. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is the bomb. Okay, so you just you just spray. It is very refreshing. <laughs> um, okay, so you spray it, and then. Sometimes I will go in and kind of like smoosh it around with my sponge just to kind of like set it in a little bit. But you do not have to. You can just like spray it and be done. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it just, it takes the powdery away. It gives you this little glow. It feels refreshing. Like, guys. It is the best thing ever. So we also have our Time Locker Spray. I do use this occasionally. This stuff is, um, like, it just, like, it, it, your makeup's not going to move. Like, it sticks into your face. Not in a bad way. <laughs> but it does. Like, if you're going to go to, like, a long party and, you like, you don't want it to go anywhere, this is the stuff. This Time Locker Spray is amazing for that. But for, like, everyday stuff, this is awesome, and I slept in my makeup, and it's still been there the next day, so I love this. As I said, it's refreshing. I can put more on, like, like later if I'm, like, oh, I'm feeling a little dry. We just spray it just a little more, and then I let that kind of set and soak in, and it just, like, it just makes you kind of doughy. Dewy. Doughy. Glowy. Glowy and dewy. We're doughy. Hi, Thatcher. My kid's sitting here looking at me like I'm crazy. He tends to do that when I do my makeup. I was always like, why are you putting it on your face? He's 10. What can I say? So. That is the look we're going for today. I, whoo, hopefully the day goes well. I'm a little nervous. So that's the look. I've got to find earrings. I've got to do my hair. Maybe I might just leave it if I'm being really honest. I'm not fantastical at doing my hair. 
If you guys have any questions about anything that I used, if you watch this on the replay, go ahead and ask. I'd love to color match you or help you if you have any questions. Now I gotta clean all this up. So I hope you guys have a really good week. And if you have any opinions on if I should grow my hair out blonde and then chop it off, or if I should go ahead and grow it out and dye it again with the henna, let me know. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.